Guinea-Bissau's government remains the main employer of thousands of young job seekers in the country, as job offers in the country's private sector are almost non-existent today. I studied business administration in Brazil. I specialized in business management. I came back home a year ago. It's not easy at all to find a job here. However, I continue to hope that I will have a decent job that will allow me to move up in my career and bring my contribution to the development of my country. Normally the internship lasts three months, but here people do not respect the limit of the internship they offer us. They go beyond it. We often spend five to six months without being hired. If you stay at home hoping to receive a phone call, you'll never receive it. This is very discouraging in the working environment. When I was in Morocco, I thought that I would get a good job as soon as I came home with the professional training that I received. But unfortunately, the reality is different and I did not achieve my intended goal. Youth centers such as the Profession and Arts Training Center of Kelele in the capital, Bissau, are providing a little hope, preparing the country's youth for the labor market. I came here to learn computer science in order to get ready for work, both in public and private sector. I have hope that one day I will find a job and will do my best to make it happen. As soon as I finish my training here, I will try to look for jobs. I don't have the guarantee that I can find one, but I will still apply to private institutions. My wish is to have my own shop, but means are lacking. However, the Youth Institute of Guinea-Bissau, part of a government department in charge of the implementation of policies and programs for the country's youth, says the country is now looking to China to help promote youth entrepreneurship through the development of small and medium-sized businesses. All this is still at the planning stage and the National Youth Institute seeks partners to set up these projects. We especially need the support of China to be able to promote within the youth entrepreneurship, whether it be for agricultural businesses, poultry, and fish farming. We want all these projects to be implemented because we have the natural conditions that allow us to develop this kind of economic activities and the young people have the will. De la pisciculture, nous avons besoin de toutes ces expériences parce que nous avons des conditions. Despite its numerous natural resources, Guinea-Bissau is among the poorest countries in the world. 57% of the state budget depends on international aid, and the unemployment rate is approximately 30%, while the working age population is about 54% of the total population. Uche Okoronkwa, CCTV.